Hey, my name's Matt. Today is my 30th birthday, or more accurately, it's the anniversary of my birth because you technically only have one birthday. And so to do something a little different instead of wallowing in self-pity about being old, uh, we're here at the police station. Um, I've got my two daughters here, my awesome wife, and we're gonna be delivering these cupcakes to the police to say thanks for all their service. Now, there's a lot of bad media out there that focuses on all the negative things and instances, but really those are just a small sampling of what really happens. These real life heroes, they're out there sacrificing for us. They're the ones helping clean up, clean up an accident on the highway in a storm or directing traffic after a, a ball game or, or knocking on the door at a domestic violence call. And they deserve a thank you for all the things they do. So. Um, I'm definitely not a videographer or anything, so we're just gonna kind of go for this and go inside and give them the cupcakes and get to meet some of the, the officers. So, here we go. Kirby, that's your box right there. We're gonna take this inside. And... Okay, girls, here we go. That your... Yep, that's a kitty. Watch out, Ruby. Here we go. Yep. Okay, what we're here, girls. You got it? Okay, wait for the door to open, Ruby. So we're just gonna go in. And uh, we did check in with the chief of police to make sure today was a good time to bring these over. And so um, once he comes in, we'll just meet him and then go on to meet and thank the rest of the officers. So here we go. Hey, cupcakes. Hey, chief. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for uh, letting us come in. We'll get some help. Here we go. Here we go. If you want to take a couple of those. Well, yeah, we'll get you a drink. Here, we'll put one in here. Thank you. You can just set them right there on the countertop. Perfect. So this is the spot right here. Okay. Good job. Good job. So I guess as, so you guys sent out a message for people to come? Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's get to meet the chief over here. So, um, uh, Jensen, I guess, uh, so where are you from? Tell us a little bit about you. Um, I actually grew up as a young child, this age, uh -huh. in Salt Lake area. Okay. Moved up to Afton, Wyoming. Did a couple of years up there while my dad was the principal of the high school. Ah, and then went back to Farmington. I grew up in Farmington in that uh, area. And then uh, spent 31 years in law enforcement. Worked okay. for several different agencies. Uh, obviously, latest is Logan City. I've been here going on 10 years. Okay. So. And uh, why did you get into the police force, or what motivated you to for for this line of work? Sure. Yeah, I was uh, living in Hawaii. Um, serving a mission for the LDS Church, and met several people that were involved in the Honolulu Police Department, uh -huh. and I, I gained an interest by just being around them and, and learning a little bit about what they do. So okay. when I returned home, I sought out education and, and certification, and next thing you know, you're into it, and I'm 31 yeah. years later now. So, wow. Yeah. That's awesome. So, yeah. Cool. Well, we appreciate um, you letting us come here, and uh, I guess I, I'm going to be asking a few funny questions along the way. So, okay. um, if you could pick a dinosaur to be your pet, what would it be, and why? You know, I don't want one of those uh, mean, oh. nasty things that uh, eat people or animals. I'd want one that would be uh, probably a little nicer, and maybe uh, something that would be okay. more friendly. So, like so, a. I don't know. Stegosaurus, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I don't know something. what that is, but yeah, but why not that one? <laughs> okay. <laughs> something cool. eats plants, not There me. you go. There you so, go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, sweet. Well, again. We appreciate this. I know it's your birthday. Yep. yep. So it's a little funky to think that you're bringing gifts to us. So we appreciate it, though, and yeah. I promise you these guys will uh, enjoy the cupcakes, and thank you for your 
for allowing us to be a part of this. Well, no problem. We're excited to meet some of them. So they should be here pretty soon, I'm guessing? So we got a bunch of uh, detectives, the lieutenant out of patrol. Okay. Um, yeah, we have shift change right now. Okay. So I'm going to go back and grab some of the uh, patrol officers to come and have a cupcake. Sweet. So well, feel awesome. free to mingle and talk to these guys. And Perfect. Thank you for the cupcakes. Well, we'll just crack them open and get going then. All right. Hey, thank, thank you. you. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I'll go grab well, so what's your name? Uh, soy, soy, soy Brett Randall. You don't know how to do Okay. Solamente Espanol. Okay. That's great. We're going to do this in Spanish. They don't hear us. No. <laughs> no, my name is Brett Randall. Okay. Uh, ben, I'm, I'm a lieutenant in patrol. Okay. Um, been doing this job. We were just looking at old pictures of uh, about 27 years. 28, okay. 27 wow. 27 years here. 28. 20. We have there is evidence, huh? There's evidence. Let's see. Right there. So pan on that. That is a wow. long pan time ago. That. that is awesome. Daddy. Oh, yeah, I miss you too. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what aging gracefully looks Mommy, like. Mommy, <laughs> I don't want. I want so tell us a little bit about um, why you joined the force. Uh, well, you know, back in the day, uh, you know, there was a was quite competitive back you know when I tested for Logan City there were 100 people that took the test for two for two positions holy cow wow um, and so I just uh, took the test and I did well and landed in the top 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 couple and I was living in Utah County at the time and they offered me my first full-time job and I haven't haven't left wow so I did some part-time work down in Utah County before I got up here and this was the first place that offered me. I actually have some family ties to, to Logan. My mom was born and raised in Logan. She graduated Logan High, so she's very familiar with Logan. And I have a, I have an uncle that Wait, ran a dairy we farm. we live in Logan, too. Good. Yeah, it's a good place, it's huh? a good place to live. But so I Grandma some... Cassin lives so far, and Grandma Jana, too. It's true. Where does Grandma Jana live? She lives in... Mapleton. Mapleton. Yeah. Yep. And they have parks. Yep, they yeah, do. They have parks here, too. <laughs> and Grandma Cassin is really far away. Do you want to ask Officer Randall a question? Oh. Oh, you can say it louder. Which place of topping do you what, like? What, what's your favorite pizza topping? My favorite pizza topping? Mild sausage. Okay. What's, I like pepperoni. Yep. Pepperoni is good, too, huh? Pepperoni is too much of a hit and miss. <laughs> you get a good pepperoni and then you're fine, but every now and then they bring a little Caesars in and stuff. So. Yeah, I, I hear you. Well, thank you so much for your Thanks. service. We thank really you. do appreciate it. And, and grab, grab a cupcake, hopefully. Excellent, some and some grab some guys come, come down and get some. Yeah, let's get you a drink. There's a water cup next to the hall, and then to your left. Let's do some of our favorite things. She turns left to that desk. So, you have to like order. And then Samoa, everybody likes Yeah, nice to meet you. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. So, so what do you do here? I am a sergeant in investigations right now. Okay. So, I work with our detectives. Here, one second, Ruby. Happy birthday oh. to you. Oh. Let me interrupt you for a minute. You need to get this. Happy birthday to you. This is definitely not what. Happy birthday, dear man. Happy birthday to you. Very good. Happy birthday, man. Didn't have a birthday. Yeah, thank you. 21. Yeah, I know, right? Happy birthday. You just get to take off some. That's your birthday gift, right? I was not looking for a lot of attention in that way, but I, I felt like this was a good opportunity or a reason to come uh, thank you guys for everything that you do. I, I mean, it, it can be a thankless job at, at times, I'm sure, but you guys make a real difference. And um, I've interacted personally even uh, less than a year ago. Um, Officer Jensen helped with um, doing a, a speeding investigation on my street because I was worried about speeding with my little girls on, on uh, my residential road. And he helped me out with that and even set up a speed trap and tested everything. And it, it was crazy. I was shocked by how helpful and uh, courteous he was. And so that was just one example for me personally that made a huge impact on, on me. And then coming and meeting Chief Jensen, seeing the um, office here, you guys do a lot of really good stuff. So thank you very much.
Appreciate that. Yeah, so let's yeah. dig in. By the way, Matt, we prefer not to think of them as speed traps. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> a measuring An opportunity pets. to impact the public. Educational opportunity. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but yeah, so um, these ones are root beer floats. Um, I did take the liberty to pick the flavor that I like the best. <laughs> so that's one thing. And then the Samoa and the uh, chocolate. I think it's like a chocolate cheesecake. So yeah, go for it. Dive in there and uh, yeah. Yes, Wednesday's cheat meal day. Yeah, just go. <laughs> go for it. Right? You have to have one too. Yeah, I definitely will. But um, yeah. So, so right, we. Matt? Say what? Taser, taser, taser. Taser. I'm going to think about the taser birthday offer. No, my taser birthday. Uh, we'll <laughs> hey, thank you all. Sir. Dom, how are you? Yeah. Oh, change hands. I promise you. Hey. Oh, 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 there we go. Oh. That one's yours. Oh, yeah. it's, a, it's a sad birthday now. Right? Oh. It's a sweet, sweet shake now, right? The sugar, it's just like perfect. Okay. We need a we need a floor right. cone. Oh, that's perfect. Clean up on aisle three. There you go. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's how it goes. Oh, we got one down already, huh? I'm sure I trust you. Hey, that's just, you know, it happens, right? Happy birthday. Pickup day. Hey, thank you so much. Preacher, is that you? Well, well, that's just sneaking up on me. Hey, thank you. So, what's your name? Andrew. Andrew. And uh, what, what do you do here? I'm a fraud investigator. Okay. So, what type of fraud type stuff do you see? Um, we see a lot of embezzlements okay. um, coming through from just with all of our local businesses, hiring a lot of people, just some embezzlements, counterfeits. Wow. Um, so. Just fun stuff, scams, lots of scams coming through. But. Like scam phone calls and yeah. just interesting. Yeah. Wow. So, well, that's that's yeah. pretty crazy. And so, how did you get into the scam field or the fraud investigation? Um, I like fraud. Yeah. It sounds ridiculous. It sounds kind of boring, but I enjoy it. it's the just tracking the stuff down and digging until you find everything that you need to. And yeah. It's it's pretty. It's not gonna give me as many. I don't get years of one of my convictions. I don't get a lot of years, but um, it's pretty satisfying to be able to find out the money and, and hold people accountable for that. So it's, yeah, it's good. So it's uh, some detective work in there. Yeah. it sounds like yeah, too. Lots of lots of papers that I write and send out. But it's good. It's fun. Cool. So uh, what's here, here's kind of a, just a random question. I mean, I've got some okay. odd oddball questions for you. So. Um, if you had to pick a mythical creature that you had as a pet, would as it be a, a, pet? a dragon or, um, let's see, I, ha I had this written down earlier, let's see, let's go with either a, a dragon or a dinosaur. A dragon or a dinosaur? Like what kind of dinosaur though? I guess it's up to you. <laughs> Probably. Or, or, do you like pets? Do you have any? Pets? I. We've, we've had a dog in the past. Okay. Um, not quite a dogosaurus though. Huh? No. No, not quite that. No. A mythical creature. Because now having had a pet, I'm just thinking of the cleanup. Okay. Who would be the? So that could get pretty intense. Side. Like. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Going down that road. Cooper scooper shovels yeah. and stuff. <laughs> No, I, I don't know. I'd probably go with the dinosaur. Okay. And I don't know which one. Cool. But, yeah. Sweet. So. Well, thanks for all your hard yeah. work, Andrew. Well, thank you. And, uh, thanks for coming yeah. and sharing this with us. Of course, yeah. Dig in. Well, okay, that's the guy we need to talk to. Then. I hear you're the guy we need to talk to. Um, okay. <laughs> So, how do you pronounce your Blau. name? Blau? Okay. So, uh, where are you from? I'm uh, um, from here originally. Okay. From the valley. Cool. And uh, how did you get into police work, or what motivated you to um, work? Honestly, it was my older brother worked here for 20 to 23 years here. Wow. So, okay. Cool. And uh, what did he do? Um, he was he a little of everything he you know, was on the, the bike squad uh, investigations swat team uh, was one of the kind of the main 
guys that implemented our SWAT team that we have here. Okay. So, um, motors. So I've kind of followed, followed those steps. So, yeah, tried so to anyway. you've had some of those same roles yes. here? That's awesome. Yeah. So That's cool. It's been good. It's been a great career. Love it. Cool. And do you have you have a family? They live yeah. here. And yeah. um, wife and three kids. I got a um, nine-year-old daughter and a five-year-old daughter and a two-year-old son. So, cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, sweet. It's been, been a blast. Um, yeah. Great family here. Great yeah. Family home, so. Yeah. It definitely feels like that. It's pretty it cool. It is. We're tight. So. So what's here, here's a. Uh, an interesting question. We've got a few just random ones. Okay. Um, what's your favorite way to spend a weekend? <laughs> uh, you can just I'm do whatever you want. When I'm not working my other job. Yeah. Um, oh, you have another job? Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's fun. It's fun, though. Yeah. I enjoy it. So okay. it helps, you know. So uh, the SWAT team, like, I, yeah, I yeah, enjoy yeah. guns. I enjoy shooting and, you know, all that stuff. Sure. So had to get a, another job okay. to help supplement okay. that. So okay. but there you go. Falls right in. There, so. I like it. Um, work, I work at Owl's. Oh, really? So I know you guys are familiar oh, with Owl's. Yeah. So yeah, I work in the gun range. So. Oh, well, that's where I bought my gun when yeah. I got a uh, shotgun. Yeah, so. so. Um, yeah, it's a good game. Anyway, so I guess a, uh, a weekend for me, honestly, would be just to chill with my family. That's the, that's the, my ultimate weekend just sure. to hang out to chill with, chill with the family. Sure. I, I, so. That's a good choice. Can't complain with that, right? Yeah. So. Well, sweet. Well, yeah. it was sure good to meet it was you. It's good to meet you, too. Sorry. Uh, oh, you're good. Thank you for your service. Really. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that very yeah. much. And happy yeah. birthday. Uh, of course. And enjoy the cupcakes. Thank you. More. Thank you. <laughs> well, we'll meet some more officers here. And So what's your name? My name is Troy. Thurston. Thurston? So what um, position are you in? Uh, my current assignment is a lieutenant in the patrol division. Okay, cool. And uh, how did you get into uh, that position or what motivated you to join the Logan City Police? I first became a policeman in 1985 at Utah State University. Oh, really? I did five years there and then I was hired on the Logan City Police Department in okay. December of 89. Okay. And have been at the Logan City Police Department since December of 89. So in, in this February, I'll have 34 years of service. Wow. In. That is awesome. Cool. So what, what are some of your hobbies? What do you like to do when you're not working? I've been heavily involved with the scouting program. Okay. I've been also involved in the program called uh, YHEC, which is a NRA and a DWR sponsored program to teach shooting sports to young men and young women. Okay. Uh, I also have been involved in uh, sports officiating, high school sports officiating for uh, decades. Just recently retired from that. I began that in 1981 and just hung that up a couple of years ago. Cool. And so, I'm uh, also involved in, in the community and very heavily involved in more religious yeah. organizations as well. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, it's definitely good to have a balance and have a little bit of everything in your life. So. Yes, yes, it does. It makes, it makes life much more tolerable. <laughs> Well, awesome. Well, I really appreciate your service. Thanks for thank you for your support. Yeah, you enjoy the cupcakes. So thank yeah, you. we'll see you. Thank you. Let's see. Let's find uh, one more person here. Christy. Thanks, guys. How are you? Do you mind if we ask you a couple questions here? It's sure stuff. Oh, sure stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you caught me off guard there. Okay, so. What, tell me, where does your that name come from? Yeah, I got real clear coffee. No, that's mine. Oh, okay. Yep. I'll, I'll give you one like that. Perfect. No, <laughs> she's she's into this for the cupcakes. Yeah. Uh, so, so your name's Swedish? Norwegian. Okay. So, um, what, what do you do here? I'm in charge of all the grammar records, government records, access management. Ruby, come here. I do all the records. Okay. So what type of... Okay, sorry. Perfect. Here. I will get one right now. Can we go out and eat? Yep. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> do you have a preference on a huh? cupcake Oh, well, I'll flavor? get a chocolate one later. Okay, perfect. Well, here they are. I'm 
My daughter's happy now. I've got one. Yeah. <laughs> so you do all the records. So what type of records do you have come across? I maintain the, the records that I am in, in charge of rotating and maintaining the records for state archive purposes. Okay. Cool. That's awesome. And how long have you been here? I've been in Logan City for 20 years, but I've been doing the records for 10. There's okay. a straw on spent, your cupcake. There Get sure out. is. I oh, spent, the straw in the garbage. Perfect. Got I it. I spent 22 years in dispatch before I came down to records. Okay. And That's awesome. Before that, I did about 12 years of EMT paramedic work. Fantastic. So you've kind of seen a little bit of uh, different operations. And, yeah. That's fantastic. So um, what... I guess, why do you like living here in Cache Valley? Like, what attracts you to the mountain this is scenery? This Little Oregon. And... Are you kidding? Yeah, I guess it has We're some similarities. We're not in the desert. Yeah. This is Little Oregon. Okay. Yeah. I have horses, and we have green fields, so it's a good match. That's awesome. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah, I, my daughters specifically love horses. Mm -hmm. um, you're Yeah, it's you're definitely their thing. You are goofed. Yeah. <laughs> if they love horses, you are goofed. We'll have to see what type of opportunities they can have to ride some mm -hmm. horses. But, but yeah, so thank you so much for letting us stop by and enjoy the cupcakes. Thank you for and, coming uh, and thank you for the cupcakes. Yeah, thank you for your service. We really right. appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, have a good have one. Have a good day, guys. Well, um, I think we're going to walk around and hand out some more cupcakes here and hopefully meet some more people. But um, I'd just like to say thanks for watching and uh, thank someone who has done something for you in your life, especially consider all the real life heroes we have, the uh, police officers, uh, firefighters, the um, members of the different departments of the military, and, and everyone who's serving to make our country a great place. And um, Yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you so much.